Wolverines matched up with Florida in the Capital One Bowl. That's played right there in Florida. So Michigan truly the visiting team. Rich Rodriguez comes to see his new team. There's Tim Tebow. He has himself a Heisman. As you know, kids, they can be excitable. Pre-game, there's some jabbering at each other. Then they played the football game. Second quarter, we're tied at seven. Tebow tosses the screen out to Andre Caldwell. Picks up some great blocking. Cruises for the score. 14-7 Florida. Let's look at this again, shall we? A little reverse angle. Three Florida linemen. This is what you do, right? You get it, and then you count one, two, three, off you go. Boom. Let them through, and now just start picking off Wolverines. There goes one. Clips another guy off. Whee! There goes a third. And then from there, Andre's plenty fast. That's how it works in the playbook. Later in the second, Mike Hart coughs up the ball. Florida recovers. Now, Hart, he fumbles about as often as Michigan will switch a football coach. It's his second career fumble, the first one he's lost in 1,002 touches, and he is not happy about it. Later in the second, we got it tied up at 14. Chad Henney. He's healthy, and he's chucking it. Adrian Arrington at the one. He would later score 21-14 Big Blue. Later in the, uh, in the possession, Hart barrels into the end zone. It's 28-14. Two touchdown advantage for Lloyd Carr's team. Or is it Rich Rodriguez's team? At this point, still Carr's team. Tebow pressure. Look at him go. He's just running like people wanted to hurt him. Get 57 rushing yards. And, you know, when you get that far, they'll let you get the last three. And look at him put a lick on the defense. I'm not going to fall down. Boom. A little shoulder to you. Standing. Thank you very much. 14th straight game with a TD pass and a rushing TD. Later in the third, Michigan down 28-21. Tebow gets the snap. Takes off down the field. Gets drilled by Jamar Adams. He's playing tough. Look at this. Where did, you may have a Heisman. I'm not that impressed, apparently. Let me just take you and oh, sticks the landing with some help, apparently. Florida down a score. Tebow. Andre Caldwell had himself a game. Third touchdown pass for Tebow in this one. Ties the score at 28. Tebow takes the snap, then flipping here to Percy Harvin, who had 165 rushing yards, 77 more receiving, and the Gators take a 35-31 lead. Fourth quarter, so Michigan down four. Is this going to end happy for Lloyd? Is he going back to Ann Arbor a hero? Arrington under this one, and now this looks like a nice little catch, right? you got to get the other angle to see that the man had two hands, but he only chose to use one here. Reaches around the defender and yeah. just hauls that in. That is bowl subdivision quality if I have ever seen it. Penny, 373 yards through the air. Arrington, who this time does the two hands like thing. 38-35, Michigan leads. Tebow at the end of the game, one more chance. Two minutes to go, and uh, flushed, runs around, and it ain't happening. Lloyd Carr wins his final game as coach of Michigan, 41-35. First bowl win for the Wolverine seniors. Uh, hello? Yes, go ahead. You're on Carr Talk. The way this season started, this team uh, could have folded. They never did. They never, uh, they never blamed each other. We never got into the issues that... Uh, divide a lot of teams. When he addressed the team after the game for the last time, what'd you say to the guys? Well, I told them I loved them, you know. <laughs> and most importantly, I thanked them because uh, that's what a leader does, you know. The last thing you, you need to do is say thank you. So Carr finishes his Michigan career with a record of 122 and 40. Also won two-thirds of his games against top ten opponents. During his 13-year stay in Ann Arbor, at least on the sidelines, Carr and the Wolverines, they won a national title. 1997, Michigan shared the championship with Nebraska. Carr took Michigan to a bowl game all 13 years, winning six of them, including Tuesday's victory, which snapped a four-game bowl losing skid for the Mason Blue. But, yeah, there's that Ohio State thing. Carr and the Wolverines lost six of their last seven. His final mark against the Buckeyes ends up at six and seven is now Rich Rodriguez broke. Rose Bowl presented by City. USC, 32nd trip to the Rose Bowl. The Atlanta High in the Rose. Why am I doing Keith Jackson? I think because that's the Rose Bowl. Well, it's actually Roy Firestone doing Keith Jackson. <laughs> Illini in the Rose Bowl for the Kirk first Gowdy. time since 83. Little trickeration for the Trojans. John David Booty to Garrett Green to Desmond Reed. Fight for the landing. 14 0 Trojans. Linebacker Ray. Mawaluga was out of his mind in this game. He sacked Juice Williams three times in the first half, also had an interception. Let's move to the second half. Illini down 21-3. Richard Mendenhall takes care of that. 79-yard touchdown run, a season long for him. He had 155 yards rushing. Illini down 21-10. But here is where the game turned. 
Illini with the ball in SC territory. Jacob Willis catches it, but it's knocked loose by Kaluka Mayava. Trojans recover, and Kaluka using that cast like big old cowboy Bob Orton there to knock it loose. So it's now SC ball, and they take advantage. Could have gotten a chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's not allowed. The lateral looked like it was going to be a disaster, but Joe McKnight recovers and goes 65 yards. How about Vontae Davis showing the speed to catch up McKnight, who had 206 all-purpose yards to buck 25 on the ground. So the drive is capped off by Booty to Fred Davis, 28 to 10 Trojans. Booty, 255 yards, three touchdowns and a pick. Next, a line eye possession. Juice Williams, you like it, a juice? Intercepted by Kerry Harris. And the Trojans, they capitalize off that turnover. McKnight, another touchdown. Trojans had a Rose Bowl record 633 yards worth of total offense. Late in the game, six-year senior, Herschel Dennis, played by injuries his entire career. He goes in for the score. Trojans got flagged for the celebration. Head coach Pete Carroll said that was the only penalty he didn't mind. USC rolls 49-17 to over the Illini. You know, to put up 630 something on offense and to, and to stop that offense, their offense with our defensive play, uh, was just really, really exactly the way we wanted it to go. So this is this is a great place to end your season. And so to end it with another win is enormous. Uh, to hand that that last victory to our seniors that they take out of here uh, is enormous to, to us. And I'm so so proud to be a, a part of that run. That, that these guys just were so stellar and just champions forever. It, it was it was incredible. Uh, I mean, these last five years have been the best of my life. Um, that's, that's really the only way I know how to put it. I mean, you know, until you go through it, uh, I'd always dreamed about being in this situation, you know, as a, as a young kid, uh, playing for a, a, an unbelievable coach, uh, you know, at a great school, an uh, awesome program, and, and just fortunate to have that chance. Those 49 points tie a Rose Bowl record previously held by a pair of Michigan teams, including the 1902 squad that won the first ever Rose Bowl, 49 nothing against Stanford. Wolverines also hung 49 against SC back in 1948. Hawaii, Georgia, give Daddy a little sugar, will ya? Well, no, All-State Sugar Bowl, and the last of the unbeatens taking an SEC beaten from the dogs. Thomas Brown, no Sean Moreno, they are ready to go. First quarter, no score. Hawaii puts 10 defenders in the box, and how many times do you hear this? You gotta think outside the box. And there goes Moreno, outside the box, 17-yard touchdown. Georgia takes an early 7-0 lead. Later in the first, Georgia actually gave up a field goal in this one. That was about as bad as I got defensively. Brown, oh, Tommy breaks a tackle, gains 20 yards on the play, and then later in the drive, and off to Moreno, and he's going to get the last 11 yards, and he's going to get seven more points. Georgia takes 14 to three lead. They're in those black shirts. They love them. The kids, they're all about the black shirts. Colt Brennan, uh, Heisman finalist, tough day. Prince Miller, good to be the prince. Interception there. 17-3, Matthew Stafford. Don't go for the pump fake, kid. Sean Bailey in the end zone. That's a TD. George is up 24 to three. How about them dogs? Third quarter, Hawaii still trailing by three TDs, and Brennan's pass intercepted again. Asher Allen, Brennan, three interceptions in the game. That one was just off target. Then you got Marcus Howard. He decided to be Colts host for the four quarters there in New Orleans. Oh, yeah, that's one of them lookout blocks. I mean, he just goes right by. Here's a fumble, carving the end zone by Howard for the touchdowns. Just right by the guy. Look out! There he goes. Seventh sack of Brennan, third by Howard, who was named the Sugar Bowl MVP, All-State Sugar Bowl MVP. Don't miss that. Georgia takes the 31-3 lead, and then Brandon, Brennan is sacked for an eighth time, injured on the play. He was done for the night, done for college. Georgia, a winner, 41-10. Mark Rick, successful season. That team as hot as anybody playing in the last couple, three months of the season. All season long, Hawaii racked up huge numbers in offense, but Georgia having none of that Tuesday. The Bulldogs held the Warriors more than 36 points below their season average. That's five TDs. And as we said, they sat Colt Brennan eight times while holding Hawaii to just a shade more than 300 yards of offense. Bowl matching Heisman finalists Darren McFadden, Chase Daniel, the rest of the uh, Razorbacks, and Missouri Tigers got to suit up as well. McFadden, soft day, 21 carries, 105 yards. And Daniel, yeah, uh, for as many yards as he's thrown for, he just spent the day handing off pretty much. Tony Temple. First quarter, we're not scoreless anymore. 22 yards for the touchdown. Temple, Sun Bowl year ago, 194 yards. So he likes the postseason game. 7 0 Mizzou. Second quarter, same numbers. Temple rushes left. 
And now he's taking off and sprinting for 38 yards before he's knocked out of bounds at the four. Very next play, Temple just tall enough to get in there for a touchdown. 14-0 Missouri. Offense coordinator Dave Christensen there for the Tigers. He scripts 50, 60 plays a game. He needed exactly two of them in Dallas for this game. Temple breaking some tackles. Where is Tommy Lewis to make a tackle when you need him? 21-0 Mizzou. Temple, two carries in the fourth quarter. This was his last one. 22nd and final carry. Breaks the long-standing Cotton Bowl records on his last run for yards and TDs. Goodbye, Dickie Magel. You're out of the books. Look at him. Carry me off because my hammy's hurting. Missouri wins 38-7. Here's Tony talking. Finishing the Gator Bowl between Texas Tech and Al Groves, number 20, Virginia Cavaliers. Second quarter. They're backed up near their own end, but that's okay. They've got Michael Simpson. Makes one move, and he's gone. Pressing the X button to get a little turbo boost as well. That's a 96-yard touchdown, second longest in NCAA Bowl history. This guy was a receiver until October at 170 yards on the day. Now, Texas Tech starts the second half. They come out with two kickers, Alex Trelika and his backup, Corey Fowler. It's Fowler that does the onside kick, and Lance Fuller that recovers it. So Texas Tech comes out, and they get that onside kick, and they get a little momentum, and that led to this. Graham Harrell to Danny Amendola. Harold, by the way, threw it 69 times. Texas Tech <laughs> down 21. Sling it. Yeah. Every down. Fourth quarter. Back Whee! to the quarterback. Peter Lawlick in for the injured Jameel Sewell. He finds Simpson on the screen. Virginia up 28-14. Now, 359 to throw it again. Texas Tech. They're down to their fourth down. Fourth and four. Harold to Amendola. First down. Did I mention that Harold threw it 69 times? Throw it again. Well, this is what he does. Hooks up with Michael Crabtree, the fabulous freshman. Oh. Oh, 20-yard touchdown catch. Play was reviewed, so we'll let you look at it again. Crabtree, 102 yards. They confirm it. It's good. Texas Tech down 28-21. Next Cavalier possession. Lawlick is hit, and the ball pops loose. Red Raiders, known for their offense. Now it's their D providing dividends. They recover inside the Virginia 5. Rajon Henley causing the damage for the Cavaliers. Red Raiders in business. And what do you know? They don't throw it, they run it. Aaron Crawford, 40-yard touchdown. Mike Leach is tricky. Yeah, didn't know he had one of those. And we're tied at 28. Al Gross said afterwards, these guys are hard to hold down. Yeah, you think? 24 seconds left. Harrell to Kobe Lewis out of the backfield. Lewis falls ahead to the 24. Harrell, 44 for 69, 407 yards, all Gator Bowl records. That sets up Trelika from 41 yards away with seven seconds left. Ball game. Texas Tech comes back from 14 points down to win the Gator Bowl, 31-20. Outback Bowl. <laughs> Wisconsin and Tennessee. Tough day for Wisconsin. By the back. Blooming onion. <laughs> Tyler Donovan. Now he scores on this touchdown, but he pays for it. Oh, me. His coach, Brett Bielema, thought the ball should have been whistled for the legal contact to the head. Now, Donovan had a headache. Now, a lot of people had headaches on Tuesday, but Donovan's was because of the volunteer defense, but he hung in there. Second quarter. Oh. Donovan's like, let's move on here. Second quarter, Tennessee's Eric Age hooks up with Brad Cottom. 31-yard touchdown. Get on in there, big fella. Ainge, 365 yards in two touchdowns, 21-7 balls. But Donovan, as I mentioned, he hung in there, regroups, battles back. Andy Crooks, four-yard score. Wisconsin within a touchdown at 21-14. Now, a minute left in the game. Badgers down 21-17. Donovan to Garrett Grant. Appears to be short of a first down, but the refs give it to him. So next play, Donovan finds Travis Beckham. 13-yard gain. And here comes Wisconsin. Now less than 40 seconds left. Donovan picked off by Antonio Wardlow. And Tennessee holds on to win 21-17. Their first 10-win season since 2004. And Age in his last collegiate game looks good. Here's the game day crew to wrap up the day.